this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread. This day our daily bread. This day, daily bread, D bread every day, word every day, Jesus every day. That is how you counteract the supernatural attacks of the devil. That is how you counteract the supernatural attacks of depression, the supernatural attacks of being oppressed, the supernatural attacks of the cares of this world, which are formed by the hands of the enemy to bound you and choke you and choke the word of God out of you. The seeds fall, but they fall on bad ground, among the thorns, among the thistles, and a lot of fruit. The sun comes up and scorches them. That means a situation arises, you just forgot everything you just heard in church. You just forgot everything you just read for yourself in the Bible. You just forgot everything that a believer that ministered to you just told you. Just told you. It could be somebody you met in the street, somebody you met on your job, somebody that you met at church, somebody that you met in your colleges, your schools, your high schools, whatever. No matter what that person told you, as soon as the situation arises, it's gone. Because the cares of this life will choke the word of God. That's why you have to let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. And that is the problem with the world. I understand. I was going to say that's the problem with the world being focused on this world. But I understand that from a certain aspect because, well, people feed themselves their daily internet. People feed themselves their daily TV. People feed themselves their daily evening news. People feed themselves. Uh, there are daily negative calls from people that are going through things. And no matter how much they're told about Jesus, they'll call you the very next day or the very day after and, and tell you the same thing again. Look what you are feeding your spirit. That's why you ain't got no peace. That's why you have no peace. Because you've got hell pouring into you. Using you as a container. When you don't need to allow anything to pour into you but the word of God, the mouth of God, the power of God. And allow him to build your structure, rebuild your structure so that when things come at you, it's not that they're pouring into you, but it's just that what God has poured into you is overflowing out of your cup to help them. You have to be careful what you allow in your container. The container of your mind, the container of your ears, the container of your eyes. Because you must understand that for a lot of people, all the problems that they had in their lives is because of what they allowed people to pour into them. Whether if, if, if they allowed it or if they didn't have a choice regarding it. Everything, every negativity that is within you is something most likely that was poured into you by somebody else. By somebody else. We are like sponges. Whatever comes at us will either bounce off of us or be absorbed within us. Let me tell you something. A lot of you out there, you, I, I'm going to use this because Satan loves to insult the appearances of humanity because you were created in the image of God. That's why. But let me tell you something. A lot of you out there, you've been told you're ugly. Have you ever noticed that that's Satan's favorite insult? Is that you're ugly? Let's talk about this for a minute. I, I wasn't even planning on going this way with this conference because I was about to wrap this thing up, but I can't help how long this is. I've got to talk today. He, he will tell you you're ugly. In the image of God. 
created he him, male and female created he them. I think I quoted that right. Um, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. Uh, this is Genesis, the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. So God created man in his own image. He ugly. She ugly. Now I'm not saying God. I'm saying I'm saying what your enemies would say to about somebody. About a dude, they would say, He ugly. About a woman, they would say, She ugly. Okay, well let's go back to the scriptures. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. You were created in the image of somebody that Satan hates. That's why people will tell you, he ugly, she ugly, they this, they, let me tell you all something. God is beautiful. It's written in the Holy Scriptures. Father is fine. I know y'all might not, you know, let me let you process that a minute. Father is fine. Do you hear me? Let me tell you something. Now the devil might say you ain't seen him. I've seen him in the Holy Scriptures. To inquire the beauty of the Lord. Something like that. I ain't trying to quote no scriptures like that. But I've read something about Father being beautiful. He's good looking. I've said that in one of my other conferences. He is fine. Adam was created in the image of God. I 100% believe that was a fine good looking man. Do you hear me? I'm talking about from crown to foot. I, I, that was, I believe that was a fine man. Do you hear me? And I believe God created for him a fine looking woman. No insecurity. No imperfection. But when sin entered the sea. Insecurity entered the sea. Satan's tongue was permitted. Not that Satan wasn't still running his mouth, but it was... If he was, I'm sure it would just bounce off, bounce off, bounce off. Have you ever had somebody say something to you and it just bounced off of you? It was almost like you had a, a, a force field around you, like a natural resistance. You couldn't understand it? That's divine protection. A lot of you had divine protection all your lives and you didn't, you didn't even know it. But for those of you out there that are absorbing the insults from other people, and feeling like, I've got to take on this image to be beautiful. I've got to take on that image to be beautiful or to be handsome. Or to... No. You're creating the image of God. Anyone or any creature that speaks in opposition of you like that, the Holy Scriptures will let you know who it is. Young girl in high school. Young man in high school. Women in society. Men in society. You are created in the image of God. That's why the devil will attack you. And a lot of you, you can look in the mirror, you know you look good. But there's still something. That that abusive husband said, that insult he threw at you, it, 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 it struck you in a way. It came to smite you. It came to destroy you. That's why you need to be under the blood. So that when something comes to smite you or destroy you, it's got to pass by the blood. It may have wanted you, but it can't have you. And because it can't have you, therefore it cannot provoke a reaction out of you. Because you don't care. Because when you know who you are, you know who you are not. My sister. When you know who you are, you know who you are not. My brother. Let insult roll off of your back like water off a duck's back. I just felt the need to say that. 